Hello everybody and welcome, my name is Essa Ryan and welcome to the ocean. As you can see from our very aquatic start, we are playing Coupe because we were playing a Europe map recently and we thought wouldn't it be fun to play a Europe map as the Maori without the true start location on. So this is the Europe map that comes with the game and as you can see I've been plopped right in the bottom left of the map. It's a very strange start, but you know what? We're going to roll with it in the traditional Ursa Ryan way. No restarts for us. As usual, you can get the save file from Discord, so come and copy and paste it onto your computer. The details, however, look a little bit like this. We just have basically the default settings. Just load up the Europe map, pick Coupe, put those seed and map information in, and hey presto, you'll be doing great. Coupe is brilliant. He's really good fun. You just sail around the ocean looking for land, getting science and culture as you do it. When you do pop down your first city, it has more people, housing, amenities. It's just wonderful. You also get sailing and shipbuilding, the ability to go into ocean tiles. You can culture bomb or fishing boats that give you more food. Embarked units getting two movement is an amazing ability as well. They are just naval powerhouses. Unimproved woods and rainforests gaining one production. I'll give you a hint, there are no rainforests in Europe, so it's basically all woods we're looking at today. But that extra production at the beginning of the game is an amazing thing. Now, they also have other unique uh, abilities. I think that's a replacement for the Swordsman, the Teller who has a minus five combat strength to anybody stood around him. Uh, they can put down a unique infrastructure, point that gives you more defense which is awesome and also a unique culture building that doesn't let you take great works of writing but it does let you put culture and faith onto tiles that have uh, a feature or a natural wonder on them so I mean it, it's it's just great basically the aim of this game is we're going to sail around Europe and just settle wherever we want and have a great time now if you're watching this video you will probably be aware by now that I've been away for work and for holiday and if you're watching this video it means I'm probably almost already back so thank you for putting up with the shorter videos for a little while we'll be back and raring to go with larger videos very soon but until then just join me as we sail into the unknown of Europe it's going to be great what should I do the, the, the fun in me is saying we should go and just settle Iceland, but it is miles away. So I'm going to just investigate uh, what should be North Africa and Portugal over on the sort of top right of where we've started, if Europe is anything like we left it. I might go and see if uh, Portugal's in the game. If it's not, that might be a very handy place to settle. Otherwise, I think settling the UK could be hilarious. Iceland has definitely got to be settled by us eventually. That is going to be a very entertaining find for us. Look, there we go. There's the coast. Here's the coast. Let's see. How lucky are we going to get? Okay, we found foreign trade. That's good so far. I don't know why I'm not researching anything. Uh, luckily, the science overflow is, is, is basically getting around the fact that I'm an idiot. I should have selected that way before. I want to get a religion. I really think a religion and coupe are fantastic together. That is an amazing thing because you can just get the faith from your tiles with your theatre squares, combine that with a religion and it's just joyous. And that looks like Portugal isn't in the game. That's intriguing. Look at that, two tribal huts. Yeah, Portugal definitely not in the game. Now, as I'm saying this, we're not playing the true start location version of Europe, so Portugal was never going to start here. What I really mean is Portugal is empty and unsettled. Maybe Spain is, or North Africa, so we do have to be a little bit careful, but this is not necessarily a bad start. I'm just thinking here, Coupe gets extra housing, plus three. So what I was thinking, actually, was if I were to go and settle upwards a little bit, I could maybe take advantage of all of this forest, but settling on the river means that I've got good industrial zone adjacency later into the game, so that's not necessarily a bad thing. I don't know, we'll, we'll see as we go. Now, one thing I really, really am keen on is working out whether or not the UK is inhabited. So I'm gonna send my warrior up the Portuguese coast into sort of France and into the UK and up that way, and maybe even over to Iceland. I'm pretty sure Iceland will not be inhabited, but you never know. But I'm also looking for the Giant's Causeway, or uh, I'm looking for the Cliffs of Dover or something like that in order to get my astrology boost. And more importantly, that is a, is a mouthful. Ryzantium, however, is great. Reason number one why Coupe is awesome. Culture bomb with extra food on your fishing boats. Hooray! Exploration is one of Coupe's strengths, but because I've started with two population, I can immediately go through that uh, settler start, uh, which would be good. 
I'm going to pick up some better tiles very soon. These woods are going to give me plus one production once I pick them up. So those will be immediately 2-2 two, two tiles, which is pretty good. But I'm wondering whether or not going for a builder is a good start or whether the astrology is probably the best thing to do. I think actually going for the settler to start with is not a bad idea. Saying that, we immediately have barbarians. I bet you anything, a galley is going to pop out there and come north and raid my fishing boat immediately. I can just see it happening already. So, yeah, well, um, I'm just going to keep my building nearby, I think. You know what? Actually, not the satellite. I'm going to go for a scout start. Let's go and explore into Europe a little bit. I just sense that there's a lot. Oh, what did I say? There's the galley. Ugh. Right, it was a good thing we kept our builder nearby. I can go and fix that if I need to. But yeah, I feel like taking some of these tribal huts is going to be a really good thing for me. Yep, what did I say? Parked there like an... Ugh, just, just the worst person. You were not invited to my party. Double tribal hut though. What could we ask for? Maybe a, a, a builder? Another builder? A population? Some faith? Early empire boost. That possibly is the worst. And experience. Wow. That was a double rubbish pickup there, and look, there we go, they just pillaged it. Yay, thanks. Thank you, barbarians. That's great. Oh, it's a bit of a risk, but I'm going to try and fix it. I think the galley might be back, but I'm just sort of popping in and out of my city in order to try and pick that up. Another tribal hut there, good. Yeah, I think actually just beelining these tribal huts has got to be a sensible thing. Let's get that pantheon quickly. Let's get discipline, just in case it does try and attack us. Let's move you back in there. Oh, no, no, hang on. There's another fishing boat here. That'll be cool. There's the tribal village, which gives me a recon unit. So we're actually going to go for a double scout start accidentally. Okay, that's really good. I'm going to start working on anything that isn't astrology now because I'm going to get the boost. So there's no point getting those seven turns done. I think instead, uh, what would be useful? Something would give me production. I think actually going for my two improvements, I've got citrus olives and wine all around me that's a triple irrigation so let's go for pottery into irrigation i think it would be a not a bad move at all and foreign trade gives me maritime industries which lets me get galleys which helps me to defend from barbarians which is not something i should have to do on turn 13 but here we are uh bam look at that another fishing boat no joke there is auckland and i found it first that is awesome so it looks like Spain is uninhabited, which for me is perfect. That's wonderful news, but Auckland is brilliant. Plus one production in all shallow water tiles. So these fishing boats are gonna go an extra production each. That, I mean, that's wonderful. That's fantastic. Yeah, I can already tell this is going to be a fantastically fun game. More importantly, there is a third fishing boat. That's gonna help massively to increase my capital to way beyond three population as quick as I can. As I'm waiting for the holy site, I think there's no point in me going any further into the builders because right now I'm gonna get some decent production from all these woods around. That would be a good tile, look at that. It's a one food, three production tile, which would mean for be, it would be four production, so that's awesome. So I think getting a settler out it's got to be a good start right now for me. I've got good scouting. I've got this scout that's going to go over and have a little peek into this um, barb camp. You can see there's the galley in question. Cheeky thing. So my scout is going to just wait here for a second. And we're going to go and see if we can nip in and steal that barb encampment. It's going to be tricky. But I have the plus five combat strength. So you never know. Into the hut. What have we got here? 40 gold. Uh, that's not bad, actually. That's not bad. We can work with that. That's good. I just found writing in that tribal hut. So like a fool, I used all of my builder charges, so now the galley is back and it's going to raid me again. Because I didn't learn. <laughs> I was saving my I was saving my gold up actually in order to get a galley. Um, but I might have to use it to get a builder. That's annoying. Never mind. All I hope now. Actually that's giving me more production because it's working this tile instead, so that's not the worst thing, but what I hope is that the galley doesn't then come past and start raiding these boats, because that would be really annoying. Go, go. That's good. We like Greece in a game with Coupe, because they will produce all the works of writing. So if I can get anything with writing slots as Coupe, they're going to be brilliant to trade with. Right, I took a gamble. I attacked with a scout, uh, and then hoped that I'd be able to reinforce and heal myself, but they just came out and killed me immediately. So that was a scout that I pointlessly just killed, and I feel terrible about it. 
as I get pottery. Under the there are the cliffs of Dover. Perfect. Astrology has been found. It looks like nobody is on the UK either, which is cool. So that could be somewhere we send the satellite. Although look at that. Spain is free. France is mostly free. Northern Africa. It's a big old map, this Europe map. It's, it's really cool. So we should be able to have some fun here. As good as that settler is, I really would like my holy site. And I've got to think carefully about where to put it. I can't get rid of... Hang on, right. Now, this is the thing. I never remember this. Resources cannot be harvested. So woods can be harvested, but resources can't. Okay, so I can't get rid of, like, crabs or stone, for instance, but I could get rid of woods. I always get that wrong as Coupe, but we're going to learn this time. It's fine. I think we're going to gamble on getting a holy site into Feed the World or something similar. So we're going to just use our faith in that way. I'm not going to go for adjacency. I don't think that's the best thing that I could be doing with my holy site. So, okay, that is a little bit of, I don't want to use, so this is the thing. I don't want to use my gold just yet because I was just about to get a builder to fix things. But maybe it's a good idea. I don't know. No, you know what? I'm going to take a gamble. We're going to get this tile, which is a 2-2, and that one, which is the 1-4. Now, that'll immediately work the 1-4, because it's an amazing tile. And now we'll build the holy site. I'm going to just plonk it there. Eight turns. Much better. Much better. In fact, actually, let's get that production focus done. The city will stop growing, but it'll help me to build it quicker. Uh, it only takes a turn off, and it stops my city from growing. Oh, it's a difficult one, that. Okay, for now, I think we're going to just have to put up with that. But what I'm going to do is something like this. It's not going to be the best industrial zone in the world, but it will be an industrial zone. And I never build them as coupe, and it's always worth building them as coupe. Because coupe can get crazy production with all of the tiles and all of the improvements that come along with them. So, yeah, gotta just got to hold on to this one. Now, let's go and see if um, England really is uninhabited. Really hoping here for some faith from a tribal village. That's military tradition. That's not great. And gold. Okay. I mean, these will do, but that's a little bit annoying. Never mind. You know what, though? This game would have been the perfect Stonehenge game. It would have been the perfect Stonehenge game. Can I do this on... Uh, it must be on flat land. Yeah, I can do it where the industrial zone is. Oh, my goodness. I very rarely do this. But I'm going to actually go back a few turns and do a... Yeah, we're going to go Stonehenge rather than a holy site. I rarely do this. But, yeah, that's actually really, really, really cool. What I'll do is with my scouts, I'm going to go in exactly the same directions I did before so the game doesn't change. But I just... I didn't think about Stonehenge and now I'm thinking about it. That's really cool. Right, so let's repeat what we did before. The There's the Cliffs of Dover. I got Astrology. And now I'm thinking what we should do... Looks a little bit more like that. Stonehenge down there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. <laughs> what this is going to do, right, is what I'm going to do is I'm going to rush Stonehenge now. And clearly, I'm not going to get it. <laughs> We're going to end up missing out on it. I actually don't have the gold either in order to get that amazing tile. So we will have to just change our plan a little bit in that front. Let's instead pick up this tile. 90 gold. I can do that in a couple turns. But... Yeah, you know what? I just think it's kind of worth it. We're going to just give it a go and see what happens. Like, I, I so rarely go for Stonehenge. So rarely go for it. Switching to urban planning. God King is good, but if I get Stonehenge, it gives me the faith per turn to get a Pantheon. So that's a good thing. Uh, military tradition. Okay, the tribal hut's still giving me the same thing. There's gold as well. That's good. So I feel like I didn't change the game's outcome in that particular respect. Goody, 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 Bob surrounding me from the south and from the north. I think I'm going to have to build an army very soon. I just don't want to. And Shan. Oh, scientific city state. Is this the one that gives me science from great works of writing? Well, that would be good if I had any great works of writing. But I'm Coupe. So we're not. God, we are getting some unlucky, unlucky tribal huts right now. I really, really, really wanted the faith. Um, that would have been very useful to get my pantheon sorted quickly. Oh my god, the barbs are everywhere up there. That is scary as hell. Oh, there's so many. I'm going to have to build such an army to keep me safe. Yeah, oh, they're still spawning. There's about five warriors up there. Like, I kid you not. There are so many. I think we may have to do a slinger to archer rush to keep me safe. I don't actually know of another way of doing this. 
Come on, 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 come on. Can there we go. Stone hands, three great prophets. Hooray! It also gives you faith per turn, so I'll be able to get my pantheon right sorted and then say, nice and right, quickly. Lads, Annoyingly, like that, I can't actually pick up a religion until I get the pantheon, so it's a little bit reversed in that sense, but hey, that's not too bad. Also not my problem. Oh my goodness, settler in three turns, you say? That's insane. Yeah, we go two faith per turn. That's not enough, really, but it'll do. What's it? Miss Tribal Village. 20 favor. I guess I can sell that to Greece at some point. Time for a go gate. We need to get ourselves a bunch of slingers, just like so many of the damn things. A three trader. Oh, yay. That's brilliant, considering I'm totally surrounded. Cheers, game. Did get a slinger kill just then, though. That's, I guess that's decent. I got any horses around me? Some in Iberia. Okay, okay, that's not too bad. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Matthew Wilkinson, Salty Tech, Midnight Oil, Trevor Askby, Paul Coffey, Senjik, Kroger Brand Trail Mix, Alex Noob, Cinnamon Beard, and Portland for all of your support on Patreon, as well as everybody else who comments and likes. Thank you!